Hello, hello, y'all. It is Friday evening. Last Friday, I thought it was Saturday all day, and I gained today. And today, I've been thinking it was Thursday all day, and it's Friday. So, I lost my day that I gained, but that's okay. But, so, some of you may have mixed feelings and get mad at me. If you do, that's okay. I'm sorry, maybe. But I wore my mask and I stayed six feet apart from everybody because you had to because they would get on to you if you didn't. And believe it or not, I didn't even talk to that many people. And <laughs> my mom and I, my, my daughter, oldest daughter went, um, well, my mom and I ran to Tuesday morning, and which is open just for a few hours right now. And then the archery, which of course has been open, but I haven't been going really in there. So, And then my daughter called and said, Hobby Lobby's open. And I was like, eh, and then I was like, no, I'm, I'm going. Now our thrift store opened, and I didn't go. I wanted to go, but I didn't do that yet. But anyways, <laughs> so I was going to just do a little haul, and I'm also going to do a giveaway with some of the items from this haul that I bought extra, and um, when I get to 300 subscribers, which is not very far away, I will do the giveaway. Um, so, getting into Tuesday morning, I love this, um, lovely day collection by My Mind's Eye. I've had the little cut aparts, or the, well, the die cuts. I've got the little, um, 6 by 6 paper pad, and now they have this little, um, the $3, um, you know, just a little set. And so, it's just so springy and cute. And whether I use it for layouts or use it in a journal, which I'm sure I'll make a journal with it, it's so beautiful. I thought for a couple of the ones I'm doing or for even a Mother's Day journal, this is beautiful. I love it. And I knew I loved the small pad I had, but I've never seen the large paper had. This was the closest I came, but that's okay. So that's that. And also with with the the items from Tuesday morning and Hobby Lobby, I'll make um, at least you know two in, handmade embellishments of some sort to give away with the items, the other items that I'm giving away in the um, drawing. So I picked up this We Are Memory Keepers punch board. Now, I don't know if I'll keep this or not. Supposedly it was regularly 28, I paid 15. Crystal with Happy to Plan. For about four days now, I've been watching her Carpe Diem planner videos. And so last night I got on there <laughs> and ordered me some um, a couple little planners for amazing prices like we're talking ten dollars for forty dollar planners but the punch they have that is six dollars um that was only six dollars it was sold out of course it was but this says i know it has the different sizes in here a little different size i think some of them are holes y'all probably know more than i do some of them are round, some of them are not. So according to this, it does work for all planners and albums, standard size, standard hole, disc, and spiral. So I'm wondering, it may take an annoying amount of time, but I might could use it in my happy planner and just move it up. And then um, I really, really wanna do the large memory decks um, cards, you know, maybe with Bible verses or just fun or whatever. 
and I can make those with this too. So if I can figure out how to use this and it's simple for me enough, I will be keeping this. I got these napkins because Lynette 299 has been doing all this crazy artistry on Cheaply Chic on her channel. Mod Podging and painting and watercoloring and all the things, all kinds of mixed media with the napkins. And so, oh, you'll also all get a couple of napkins. Um, but look how gorgeous. I mean, these are gorgeous. I thought these would be so pretty on tags. And maybe up a page, the side of a page. And I don't know why I just took all those out. Now I'm going to put them in something. <laughs> then I found one thing of this. It's the mica flakes. Um, you know, I did the gold leafing that time. That, that one time. <laughs> I wanted my journal with me, but this is the um, iridescent one, so I thought that would be fun. I got the Auburn Lane from Pink Paisley, which I know you've probably all seen a million times. Well, I guess not my new viewers, but I made several um, little albums last year around Christmas time and for like $8 a piece. Just little albums for your purse out of this collection. And, um, everyone snatched them up because they are, they're adorable. And I, it's just such a neutral collection, even though it's kind of for Thanksgiving. I mean, it's really not. You don't have to use... But I love the color palette in those I've never found the 12 by 12 in these either, nor have I found the embellishments, but I love this. Of course I love it. I grabbed it. Okay, $1.99. I grabbed these Amy Tangerine stickers because I thought these would be fun either in planner or um, just making little embellishments. And then these were $1.99. I was very excited because I love the little bitty ones of these that are by Thicker. Well, these are by Thicker's also. Um, they're more of a foam, but these are like the, the plastic. And they're like a glittery, um, dark glitter, and then the black. So I love those. Because the others only come in white and navy blue for some reason. And then I grabbed this paper pad that's been in there since like December. But the same paper pad literally I think. But I've never grabbed it. But um, I'm wanting to do a unicorn journal. I've had the fabric now for a while. And after watching Lynette do all that fun stuff. Um, definitely I think want to make one for my niece, but, um, Lynette, she should be selling hers here soon, so keep an eye on her channel for that, but, um, anyways, after that, I might put my spin on one. It will not be like hers, but <laughs> I would like to make a couple unicorn journals. Oh, see, the florals could be used for anything. And the cameras and the ABCs, the, the mermaids, they could be used in little golden books. I'm also wanting to do a mermaid. That would be cute. So this would go with several different kid things, like little golden book type things. And I, I'm pretty sure this is the paper pad, she said. Okay, so that's Chamel, Head in the Clouds. And then... For the 50 million planners I have coming in, I have um, the Heidi Swap sticker book, which 
not Heidi Swap, um, Maggie Holmes, which I'm about out of, and I love it. I use it for everything, but I, um, I thought this one would be fun because y'all know I'm like 10 and, and thinking <laughs> unicorns and mermaids are just adorable. <laughs> Not only can I use those in my, um, in those albums, but, um, I had gotten this glorified, gorgeous notebook from Miss Jessica at I'm a Cool Mom. <laughs> so it's beautiful. And it's just, um, has a pocket in here, and then it's just, um, you know, notebooks. So that's what I'm going to start putting all of my orders in. Oh, oh, look, there's a deep pocket back there. Anyway, so I thought that would be fun to put in there. And then... They had one of these. There's the SKU number. Um, it's the We Are Memory Keepers glass cutting mat. Now, I don't know how it compares to the Tim Holtz. I'm sure it's not as amazing, but we all use their cutter and everything. So, anyways, you can cut on it, stamp on it, and do your mixed media on it. So, that's why... I was so excited because I just really didn't want to pay for the Tim Holtz one right now. And it is glass, but I can spray my, um, you know, just stress sprays and stuff and paint and all that on here. And it'll just wipe off and not leave color like on this mat. I mean, I put something over this mat, but it's still stained it. But this won't stain, I don't guess. So, I'm excited about this. I'm excited. I've said that about everything. Yeah. And then moving on to just household things, if y'all care. I got this birthday cake. No calorie, no sugar, no carbs. Makes you probably more hungry. Skinny syrups birthday cake. And I'm drinking some right now, my coffee, and it does not taste like birthday cake. Oh, here's a recipe for fra a frappe. It still does not taste like a birthday cake. So I don't recommend that one. Okay, these were 80% off because of Easter. So I got these for $1.20 for two of them. Kitchen towels, love them. And lastly, from Tuesday morning, I got this for a dollar eighty, dollar sixty. I have been wanting this since before they put it, when they put out spring stuff at Easter time, but I wouldn't ever get it because I was not paying eight dollars for it. I just never got it. I love this. I thought I can make it. I can make it. Well, guess what? I never made one, but I wanted it because I want to put it in my birdhouse, like. You know, like a vintage top looking birdhouse. I'm just going to put it in there and leave it. Like during the spring when the birds are putting their eggs in there. Probably not in the winter, but in the spring right now. This will be beautiful and it will stay. It will live in my birdhouse. So I'm so excited for less than $2. So moving right along to Hobby Lobby. Um... Let's see. The only thing I had to use my coupon on and pay, um, I guess you'd say, I didn't pay normal price for anything. Paper Studio stuff was um, half off. And then the Spring Market Home stuff was half off. So, Tim Holtz has some new stuff out. They have like a book of their his vintage tickets. But they're like ten dollars. So, anyways, they had this pack for five dollars of um, tickets, and I just thought those would be so much fun to layer up in junk journals. How much fun! Anyways, I got those for forty percent off of that. So. three-ish. Three um, so you'll get one of 
those two. Okay. Then I got... Um, oh, this is from Tuesday morning. I didn't like any of Hobby Lobby's washi. This was $3.99. This is from the One Canoe 2, Saturday afternoon. I love their stuff. and we, I don't have a Joann's or Michael's, but my sister-in-law got a set of butterfly of some type set um, in January from um, there, and it was beautiful. So, figured this looked kind of aztec -y and camping themed looking maybe. And I'm wanting some wider washi. I always like encouraging words. Live a life you love. Choose happy. Hello weekend. That's cute. And then... There's that. And then here's some little balloons. Oh, those are so cute. They have little hearts. And I love anything floral, so that's pretty. And then this just looks like some bokeh looking dots kind of. So there's that. So I'll let y'all stare at those for a minute. Okay, so for real, I think that's all from Tuesday morning. Okay, so moving on to Hobby Lobby. In the home section, I've got to take my Easter tray stuff down. So, um, I got this, oh, I'm sorry, that's probably putting a glare. I got this Be Happy little sign for it was five dollars and then I got this bag of strawberries for three that I'm gonna put in a little jar let's see if my son will try to eat those <laughs> they look pretty real those are cute It's gonna be like lemons and strawberries, obviously. Okay, and then these were two fifty. I may return these, but if mine come in, then I can use those that I got for like eighty cents ordering last night. But these already have the months on them, and I can't ever find mine. I have to flip to it every time, and you know that's a lot of work. So got those for my planner. I always pick up a pack of, or two of these when they're half off because I can always use these. And I try to get white or neutral most of the time because you know you can spray them or ink them. Um, these were $1.50 and it's just the bags that have like um, pink, yellow, and um, the blue and a peachy color. I use those in my journals. And I've been given things with my journals um, in these little bags. So. I've got this twine for 74 cents. Pink. Okay. $5 for a sticker book is a lot for me. I'm not going to lie. Four planners, but unless it's the big kind like I just showed y'all. But they were out of the stickers on the um, Carpe Diem clearance last night. So I did go ahead and order. Um, I meant buy a couple packs half off from Paper Studio. I've got to get some nails back. Okay, so this is the floral. You 
If y'all ever see me do a planner video and succeed at it, y'all would be so proud of me because I'm trying. But Crystal with Happy to Plan, she's motivating. She's got me wanting to try it. And then I got these for $4, the farmhouse. I wish that I had just the big of these, but look how cute. Got the lemons and the... Kind of matches some of my house. Look at the little bitty whisk. No. Everything. The phone. That is so cute. I don't even know if I was in frame showing all that. And then I love the Paper Studio brand of the stickers. Um, I thought I got two of these, but if I didn't, I'm, I'll probably get another one of these for a giveaway, too. Um, I love these pastel colors, but they just have little Bible verses on them. And I, I just love them. They've got two or three different styles and colors. So those are $1.50. Then I got these for a dollar. So I thought I would give one sheet of these in the giveaway. These were half off. They were two dollars. So they're just your little unicorn charms for the journals. And then the little keys for two fifty for charms for journals. Then I needed some of these labels for um, journals. These were $2. And now to the Dollar Tree. So, I'll give y'all a washi sample little booklet too of these little washies in the giveaway package, a little sample pack. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, I got this to put in there because I just love this Palmer's cocoa butter. Um, chapstick. I love it. When my mama had her heart surgery and her lips were so dry, it's the only thing that would soothe them in the hospital. And I love this. And you always need to have chapstick when crafting, right? Like I always am like, where's my chapstick? Anyways, I usually make my own chapstick, but I haven't done that in a while, but I still have some. But I got this because I love this to put in the giveaway. And then I got these napkins for decoupaging that I'll put a couple of these napkins, which are kind of like the scallop shape I've been using, but they're smaller prints so you can see them better. So a couple of those will go in there. Y'all, our Dollar Tree finally, finally, after all these years, has a crafter's, what's it called? Crafter's Corner Square? So, I'm excited. Crafter Square, that's what it is. So, I got two of these with the piercing and scoring tool set. So, you can... I mean, I use one of these. I mean, well, this is the same thing as when I use, like, this. Which, I got me a pack of these, too. But, when I try to crease my edges, you know, you can use this. Or, you can... Um, score things with it um, and then here's a large needle and a small needle to make your holes in the middle of your journal or to use like to um, I use mine all the time like to peel up my double stick tape or all kinds of things so that will be going in there and then I grabbed me a stylus um, pen because I don't have one and sometimes I need to kind of just score things Um, I grabbed one of these because I'm thinking this would be so good to apply mixed media things with. I grabbed me one of these 
and I'm going to go back and see if they've got any more, but they didn't at the moment <laughs> to get, um, and I may go ahead and send this, but to get the, like when this Fabri-Tac glue gets all gummy, this just gets it right off the edge. So, and speaking of glue, everyone has been talking about this new glue that they have, and they say that it is thinner, but it is comparable, they say, to Fabri-Tac. We shall see. I'm trying to see if it says... Well, it says for fabrics, y'all. I can't see where if it says acetone or what. Um, so yeah, you'll be getting one of these to try. I probably won't do overseas shipping right now, but at 500 giveaway, I will. But I don't think you can, my point is, send glue or stuff with acetone in it, I don't think. So I needed some little binder clips, got those. I needed some stretchy cord. I don't know how well this will do, but we're gonna try and see. Cause I'm thinking about making maybe some little traveler's notebook size things with the unicorn paper. And then, I got me some letter stencils like this because I want to try those in my journaling and just see how I like those. I got one of these cute little pins for the giveaway because, believe it or not, they actually write good. <laughs> and they're so cute. Let's see. And then I got me some pearls to string because I bought some, but they were flat back for my journals, so I needed those. Okay. And then for the giveaway, I got a pack of these butterflies, which I saw when I left at Hobby Lobby. They had them out on the Easter clearance for, they were regularly $4, and they were still $2. So, I'm telling y'all, they're the same exact ones. But anyways, I got the brown ones, and then a pack of green ones. And then, I thought these were cute. To put in a planner or um, I'm sorry I don't know if there's a glare to put in a planner or on a your junk journal page or whatever it's so those and I got me a pack of these too because because I wanted them but because I have had a couple of people ask they want to see how to use the Dollar Tree things that everybody always buys up and says, oh, I got this in their things. So we can do that. So this pack, how cute are those? And then, you will get this pack. Look at the little bucket and a hat. How cute. <laughs> and then this pack. I thought those were pretty. And you can make homemade cards with these for Mother's Day. Use them in your planner, in your junk journals, gardening journals, all the things. in order to um, be eligible again for now I'm sorry until my 500 um, you must live in the United States and then um, like this video and then comment below what has been your favorite thing about junk journaling so far? And then, if you want to share it on the Instagram feed or something and get someone else to go and like it and all those things, that would be great too because as soon as I get on up um, 
to 500, I'll give away a journal. So, um, I hope you all have a great Friday night, and I will talk to you all very soon. Have a good weekend. Bye.